All right, y'all. So in today's Chronicles of Knucklehead Athletes, so following the Las Vegas Raiders loss to the Kansas City Chiefs on Monday night, star wide receiver Devontae Adams, formerly of the Green Bay Packers, pushed a credential media member to the ground as he walked toward the tunnel, right? The media member was trying to cut across Devontae at the last minute. I guess he didn't realize Devontae was there. He got into, he kind of like got into, he got into De uh, Devontae's path and Devontae pushed him because he was mad and pissed off at the fact that they lost the game, right? He's so mad, he pushed a, he pushed a media member because he's just mad and he pissed off, right? So after the game, they asked him about the situation and here's the quote from Devontae Adams. He ran and jumped in front of me when I was coming off the field and I bumped into him and kinda, kinda pushed him and then he ended up on the ground. So I wanna say sorry to him for that because that was just frustration mixed with him literally just running in front of me. And I shouldn't have responded that way, but that's how I initially responded. So I want to, I want to apologize to him for that. First of all, it's a half-ass apology, right? You basically, you really trying to say, I shouldn't have done that, but it's his fault. I shouldn't have done it. I could have handled it better, but it's his fault, right? So you're trying to make yourself sound good. I should have, I should have handled it better, but it's still his fault. He jumped in front of me and I kind of pushed, bro, you didn't kind of push, you pushed that man down with force. You told that man, you, you gave that boy that, you gave that man that push like he was a little ass boy, that. Get the hell out of my way, Stanley, from Friday. You gave him, you gave him one of the, get the fuck out of my way. Get your ass out of my way. You are the ground. You are beneath me. Move your ass out of the way because I'm mad. That's the push he gave that media, that media member, right? And now the NFL Network reported that Adams, Devontae Adams, could face a suspension and that the credential media worker had filed a police report against Devontae, right? Saying that he was injured during the accident and had to go to the hospital. Now, do I think the man was injured? Absolutely not, right? But do I blame the brother for, for trying to file charges? Not at all. Because I probably would have been on the ground, oh, like he's there, my neck, my back, my neck, and my back. I would have done the same thing. Because, brother, you getting mad at me trying to embarrass me on national TV, for one, trying to little boy me, son me, or do what they call hoe me in Chicago in front of everybody. I'm a grown man. And you're doing it out of, this, out of just out of the simple fact that you mad. You frustrated about the outcome of the game. So you're going to push me, right? You know, it, come on, clown stuff, bro. So now, right, I said that he filed the police report. Now, as of today, October 12th, 2022, now Devontae Adams was charged this morning in the municipal court of Kansas City with misdemeanor assault. He was charged with misdemeanor assault in the municipal court of Kansas City this morning. Now, I believe that the charges will be dropped and this will all be settled out, out of court, but Devontae going to have to come out that bag. He gonna have to pay that brother some cash, some bread. And this is all Devontae's fault in the first place. This is all Devontae Adams' fault. This is his fault. When emotions are high, logic is low. And now that now that little shove is that kind of pushed him. That shove is a very expensive shove, brother. Now you're gonna have to pay that debt. And see, I want him to recognize, he gotta recognize actions have consequences, even if you're a star player in the NFL. Actions have consequences. Brothers got to be in control of their actions, right? And, and excuse me, in control of their emotions. You don't get, you don't got the right to push nobody. All you got to say, excuse me, move around them. All that pushing somebody because you mad and you pissed off, bro. Who the hell is you, bro? I know, don't nobody care about you being mad, fam. You're not gonna push me and try to hold me a little boy me in front of everybody. That's not gonna fly. We ain't going for that. I'm gonna have to press charges on you, bro. Cause look, who? Why are you putting your hands on me, fam? It was an accident. The media member wasn't trying to cut across him to put the camera in his face. He was trying to come across him at the last minute. Didn't see Devontae. Devontae just pushed him to the ground. It reminded me of dudes in school when I was in high school, in Morgan Park High School in Chicago, Illinois, here in Chicago, when it was some popular dudes, right? Popular dude might be mad. I've seen this happen in high school. Popular, pop, the popular dude mad about something that happened, right? And a dude that's like what people consider lame or he's like a square. A square getting a path. And push them to the ground. Fuck out my way. Like, I've seen dudes do that in high school. Fuck out my way, man. Fuck out my face. That's the stuff that, De that Devontae just pulled with that media member. Bro, you ain't better than nobody, fam. Putting your hands on folks. You better, you better relax, bro. For real. Because he, uh, it may, man, like again, now he trying, he going to have to learn that lesson. Now you better be in control of your emotions. If you're not, in, you're, if you're not in control of your emotions as a man, like stuff can go really, really bad for you. Being in control of your emotions means life or death as a man, right? I've gave, I've given antidotes of that, right? I remember when we, I was in, I was maybe 14 years old, freshman year of high school. 
I'm with my dad in a car with him. He driving. We coming out of Burger King parking lot, right? And a guy cut in front of my dad, and they, they almost collided. The guy started arguing with my dad, uh, you know, basically giving out, he's yelling out profanity, vulgarities, right, and my dad. My dad starts to do the same. Then he stops himself, and he lets it go, right? And the guy pulls off. He say a few things, and he pulls off, right, speeds off real fast. And my dad said, you know what? I wanted to check that. I wanted to check dude. I wanted to get with him, right? But I had to be in control of my emotions at this moment because I don't know if that brother had a gun. He could have shot at this car and uh, harmed you, Malcolm. He's telling, telling me he could have harmed you. I got my son in here. I got you in here. You my son. I can't let nothing happen to you just because I'm mad and I'm upset about something that, that just transpired with me and another individual. You know what I mean? He could have done something. You shot this car and it could have hurt you, right? Or it could have hurt me and I can't even be here for you to provide for you anymore. So I got to be in control of my emotions because it means life or death in certain situations like that, right? So as a man, a grown man should be able to control himself no matter how mad he is. You don't get passes to push folks and commit assault against people because you mad and you having a tantrum and having a fit. Brother, tuck that in and figure it out. Be a man and stop all this, you know, just because you, I'm mad. <laughs> you, don't get, you don't get to throw a fit because you mad about how something just uh, played out. Yes, you can be mad. Yes, you can be frustrated. Yes, you can show emotion, but they don't give you the right to put your hands on folks just because they're in your way. Oh, they, they just happen to cross your path and you feel like, get the hell out of my way, I'm mad. No, you don't get to do that to folks because he wouldn't do that in the street because he knows somebody would do something to him and could do something to him vile, something heinous to him. And I don't, I don't um, condone any type of violence, especially amongst black men, but I'm saying he would never go down the street in the hood and push somebody out of the way like that because he knows... He knows the consequences of them actions, right? So he needs to do it even in the heat of, the heat of battle, in the heat of a moment, right? That man wasn't trying to do nothing to you and get all in your face with a camera and all that. He cutting across you. You just got mad and pushed him down. So now you're going to have to pay for that, bro, because you're not in control of your emotions. You push somebody. Now you got to come up off that bread. Now they're going to hit you where it hurt in your pocket, and it could be very, very, very steep. So you gotta, he got to understand, no, bro, you put yourself in this situation right here. It's, this could have all been avoided if you just would have walked around them, would have said, excuse me, something, walked around them or something like that, right? But no, you mad, so everybody got to feel the wrath of your frustration and pain and your, you know, your anger. Put, get out my way. All right? Do that. Cool. Now the brother in there, with, I, boy, I bet you he came in there with a goddamn cast. Oh, going to come to court in my neck, my back. Oh, pain and suffering. All of that. Oh, he, he humiliated me on TV. Oh, my God, I can't go back to my neighborhood. My people are laughing at me everywhere I go for being Devontae's stepstool, for being a little a rug that he walks all over. Oh, my God, you know you're going to take it there. But that's Devontae's fault. Stop a bro. You got to stop and think. Stop and think before you just act off. Don't act off emotion. Don't act off impulse. Relax. A lot of brothers is locked up right now doing hard time because they didn't think before they carried out certain actions. They acted off impulse. And they landed in jail. And now you have a, nothing but wet pillows in jail because they crying at night because they didn't think about something before they did it. And now they, they acted off emotion, did something, end up probably taking somebody's life or committing serious injury to them. Life-threatening injury. And now they got to sit in jail for some time, right? So he got to be in control of his actions, man. He got to understand, yo, you just because you mad does not give you free reign to do whatever you want to do to somebody that comes into your path while you angry. No. And all that, I mean, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have did it, but, you know, basically, I mean, it was his fault because he got in my way. That's how that, that's how that apology sounded. You got to be more mature than that, brother. Be real. It wasn't no you kind of pushed him. You pushed that brother to the ground. It was a get the hell out of my way. Get your ass out of my face. Get gone. Why is you in my way when I'm mad? That's what it sounded. That's what it looked like. It looked like the, like the dudes that people would call, people call them bullies, but you know, the popular dudes, they see the lame in the hallway, like I said, and they mad about something and the lame in their way. Muff them, get out my face, right? When they with a girl trying to hold somebody because they mad. Just to, just to show your brute strength and try to show your, you know what I mean? Try to show that, oh, uh, try to, boy, try to show that you uh, overpowering somebody because you mad and you trying to show your physicality in a moment that you angry. Trying to show that physicality to the wrong person could leave you in a really devastating situation. And he know better than that. So, brother, got to pay them consequences. Got to pay for the consequences of them actions because he wouldn't have did that shit in the hood nowhere. Because he know what the consequences of those actions would be. Gotta do better, black man. Machiavelli Mills TV. Leave your comments in the comment section below. 
like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Thank y'all for supporting me. Let y'all know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think about this topic in the comment section below. I'm out. Peace.